NTDs are one of the most horrible things on God's earth. And um, when you go and see somebody who is suffering with trachoma, the pain, it's not just that they're going blind and going blind quite slowly, it's agonizing. I don't think you can really uh, put into words sort of the emotional impact of watching somebody walk down the street dragging a leg behind them that impairs their mobility. It leads them to be ostracized in the community. Wherever you find extreme poverty, you will find these neglected tropical diseases. And ironically, it doesn't matter if that poverty is in Nigeria or Angola, or if it's in Guatemala or Nicaragua, or even if it's in Texas and Eastern Europe. You show me poverty, I will show you these neglected tropical diseases. By eliminating most of these diseases, we will significantly reduce poverty uh, through uh, getting more success rate in schools and improving the well, well-being of women. We do have this incredible message about 50 cents per person per year can protect you against these seven diseases that cause disability, cause suffering, can cause blindness, and really change the trajectory of your life. And that is a simple message, and I think that we're all rallying to ensure that we can prevent these diseases, we can treat them early stage so that no one has to suffer those diseases. I think we've all seen, you know, those big tummies uh, in, in, in pictures, but when you actually see them in real life in Africa and you learn that for 50 cents, one of these mass drug administrations, you can make those tummies go away and have those kids back in school. It also has also resonances in human rights issues. It has resonances in inequity. It has resonances in areas beyond actually the, um, the physical impediments, blindness, deformity, stigma. Bill Gates was asked uh, what he considers the major uh, advances of the past year in, uh, in global health and development. And the first one he identified was the London event. We've always known that the fight, you know, fighting against these in NTDs is the right thing to do. It's the good thing, it's the best thing to do. And fighting against them in an integrated manner is even better. But it's about actually making it happen. And I think what the London Declaration has been able to do is allowed us to now say, it can actually happen. It can actually be a reality. The challenge is how do we convince the partners to do more advocacy at country level so that governments will see NTD as a priority. This requires vision. It requires collaboration. It requires breaking down the barriers that have traditionally been in place between the public and private sectors between research and program communities. So it's a real collective human effort to break down barriers amongst ourselves so that we can meet the needs of those who, who uh, we're trying to serve. We have many ingredients that contribute towards success. We have the science that's actually working well and we, we have ongoing scientific research and development, uh, particularly operational research, to find those models that are more efficient and have high impact. We have all the drugs that are needed um, through generous contributions from the pharmaceutical companies. We have political commitment in the fact that many countries around the world, up to 60 in fact, uh, 40 of them being in Africa, that have developed national integrated plans for NTD control. Knowing the science behind what we're doing and also seeing the change happening in front of you is what's, what's been really inspiring. I'm proud of this community and the momentum that is now building around NTDs. It's a cause for joy because actually it's going to make a big difference in the lives of many people. We have the assistance, we have the drugs, we have the partners. All we have to do is uh, to participate in this uh, initiative. With the efforts from all sectors, I think we can do it. There are a billion people who are going to be sick and suffering and going blind and not able to go to school unless they get these medicines. And these medicines are free. So this is truly the life you can save. It's in our power. We can have the impact. And we need to mobilize ourselves now to make sure that that happens.